graphical presentation of data. In the previous classes, we learned more on presentation of data in a table form. Data that are presented in a table form are much hard to understood, but data that are presented in graphs are easily understood. In this class, we are starting first with qualitative data, which you already know that are data that are in categories. So we are looking at the type of graphs that, that are going to be used for presentation of data that are in qualitative form. So that is what we're going to look into today. This makes it easier for understanding and easy for someone to know the hidden pattern and trend of a complex data. First of all, we shall be looking at um, the first uh, qualitative method of data presentation in a graphical form known as the bar chart. The bar charts are used for qualitative type of variables. The variable studied is plotted in the form of a bar along the horizontal x-axis. Okay, we have different types of bar charts. We have the multiple bar chart. We have the component bar chart. Okay, and we have the simple bar charts. Okay, you will see them in the next slide. One thing about this bar chart is that you see the bars. Okay, like now, this is the simple bar chart. You see, the, the height at uh, 24, you can easily interpret it. The next is multiple bar charts. The multiple bar chart. You see, different data are presented alongside each other. Then, component bar chart. The component bar chart is used to present more than three variables. More than two variables, sorry. Okay, so in an, a class, we shall discuss more on how you can present this uh, or, or construct this um, bar chart. The next uh, data method of graphical presentation for qualitative data is the pie chart. The pie chart is a diagram used for categorical data. It is essentially a cycle that is partitioned. Okay, each set representing a particular quantity or a data. The next is maps. We also use maps as method of qualitative data analysis. We have two types of maps. We have the spot maps. We have the area maps. Okay, the spot maps are known by the because you they are used mostly uh, to denote areas of concentration. We also have the area map. The area map is used to show the population and the area that is affected. Okay. That's one thing about maps. The dot, the, in that spot map, you only see dot, 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 dot everywhere. But in area map, it shows the population density in that place and the number of persons affected. So mostly used in uh, epidemiological studies. Now let's look at graphical method of data presentation for quantitative data. One is histogram. Histogram is used for quantitative continuous type of data presentation you will see it in our next classes you see how this histogram is constructed okay the only difference is there's no gap between each one unlike in the bar chart there's always a gap but here there is no gap as you can see this is a histogram the next method of quantitative data analysis or data presentation is frequency polygon Frequency polygon is a graph that displays the data by using lines that connect points plotted for the frequencies at the midpoint of the classes. Okay? For you to plot a frequency polygon, you require frequency, class frequency and class midpoint. You require frequency and class midpoint, sorry, for you to plot a frequency polygon. The next method is OJIVE. An ogive represents the cumulative frequencies for the class. So for you to plot an ogive, you require cumulative frequencies and class boundaries. Whereas histogram requires frequency and also class boundary. But ogive requires cumulative frequency and class boundary. So the difference between histogram and uh, ogive is that ogive makes use of cumulative frequency. Why? Histogram methods of just the frequency. The next is scatter plots. Scatter plot is also used to test relationship between two variables. It's mostly noted with dots against each variable. We are if there's any relationship that's existing between the two variables. If you check here now, you see the 
the, the, the frequency and you also the number of uh, absenteeism in the class. So there is a relationship. The next method is box and whisker plot. Box and whisker plot is also a method that is used in handling many data values. It shows only certain statistics rather than all the data. So in our next class, you will know how this box and whisker plot is being constructed. From a box and whisker plot, you can identify the upper extreme value, the lower extreme value, the median, the upper quartile, and the lower quartile. Another method for data analysis the presentation is stem and leaf diagram. The stem and leaf plot is a method of organizing data and is a combination of sorting and graphing.